Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Chicago's Cyanide 2004's Hell's Rebirth. Head Split Records reissue. This release showed Cyanide going back into a three piece. Fucking so sick. I love this release right here. Fucking Death Metal Maniac. Seriously, if you're a fan of Cyanide, this is a great starting place, but like, this is also the faster version of Cyanide. And Cyanide, in case you are new to the band or are even new to extreme music, Cyanide have been around since the early 90s when it comes to putting out some of the heaviest, slowest, Death Doom Metal in America. And I'm talking about 1992's The Dying Truth, reissued on Dark Descent Records and The Crypt. It's one of my favorite fucking records in my collection. And over the years, I've, you know, managed to pick up a couple Cyanide releases on cassette, vinyl. I'm only missing one full length at this point, and that's A Descent into Hell. I will get my hands on that. I ha I did have my hands on it when I saw Cyanide in Denver, but I ended up buying a Death Metal Maniac t-shirt instead. Do not regret that purchase, but I should have grabbed a copy of the vinyl, but I really didn't think it was going anywhere. I, I completely underestimated the power that is Cyanide. And we're going to be talking about 2000s, Divide and Conquer Triple LP box set courtesy of Ohio's Hell's Headbangers Records and thanks to Mike Perrin for sending this my way. Holy fucking shit, Mike. You're the fucking man. I... I wow. Like... I just want to tell a quick story about Mike from Cyanide, because this is how awesome this dude is. Like, we talked back and forth on Facebook, just kind of like, talking about the Denver show and stuff, and I didn't really think much of it. And I walk outside to go smoke a joint, and there's Mike and Matt from Dark Descent, and Mike's like, Yo, Chanel, dude, like, what's up? I'm like... Mike from Cyanide knows my name? Like, fuck yeah. So, should we shake hands? I say hi to Matt. And, like, to me, that was such a big deal. Like, I was meeting a death metal legend. And it was just something that, it to me, it was a special moment. I mean, I was baked out of my mind. But still, it was like, dude, like, Mike from Cyanide watches the channel like holy fuck that's awesome and we get to see cyanide tonight with fucking crypt spectral voice blood incantation sempenal dusk dude that show was so fucking sick dark descent records ninth anniversary in denver colorado at the high dive there i think adversarial might have played as well i kind of forget off the top of my head or that might have been the year before with uh, Ritual Necromancy, Ascended Dead. But that's neither here nor there. I just wanted to say fucking hails to Mike for, you know, putting a smile on my face more than once when it comes to just sharing a mutual love of death metal. And this monster right here I'm pretty sure it's around 27 tracks you get the full length album which is the remastered remixed version which sounds absolutely wonderful like seriously very very awesome but the original album mix is also featured on here and that original album mix is a lot more oriented towards the death metal I really, really love. Like, the drum sound especially. Like, when you hear the drums on the other recording, it's like, 
Whoa. Fucking whoa. That sounds so sick. Because when you read what they were kind of going for, it completely works. Like, they wanted kind of this boombox demo type vibe. And heartburn. Sorry. I think they fucking nailed it. Like, I, as much as I love the kind of very, like, warm and inviting sound of the... And when I say inviting, I'm talking, like, when it comes to death metal and cyanide. It's definitely, if you're new to the band, this, you know, welcomes you with open arms. It's nothing completely devastatingly heavy like their earlier stuff. It's a lot more fucking speedy. And speedy in the fucking best way possible. Like, if you can hear in the background. Like, this was the start of, like, a faster cyanide, in my opinion. I think Death, Doom, and Destruction actually probably laid the groundwork for Divide and Conquer, to be honest. But this just took it a completely step up. Like... Definitely one of my favorite Cyanide releases, and it's something that, you know, I really didn't even know existed entirely until a couple years ago when I was looking into Cyanide's back catalog, and I was just like, there's no way I'll ever be able to get a copy of this. I just kind of wrote it off. Like, I kind of was keeping my eye on Head Split Records because, you know, they reissued Hell's Rebirth. They reissued Gods of Death. They put out the fucking live album. The Live at Reggie's tape, which I fucking love. It's such, it's seriously such a good fucking live set. I, I wish that that was still made available because I know a lot of you that are kind of fiending for live music. It's just a great way to experience Cyanide. But here is Divide and Conquer. This is the actual new mix for the album. And it sounds absolutely amazing. Mike's the fucking man. So is Scott. Fucking sick guys. You have Andy on drums, Jim on guitar. And every single song on here is fucking badass. And as I'm going to show you with the cosmetics here, Hell's Headbangers does not fuck around. Like, look at this thing. This has more care than, like, some books and shit. Absolutely amazing and completely worth $40. This is worth more than $40, but... Hell's Headbangers, in my opinion, are generous enough to put something like this out for $39.99, and it's worth every single fucking penny. But, here's what's really, really fucking cool about all this. So, here's the new version of the record, Divide and Conquer. Check out the artwork, it's fucking awesome. And the LP cosmetics as well. It's fucking gorgeous. Everything matches. It's sick. Hey, look at that bad boy. And the best part about it is it fucking sounds amazing as well. Now, personally, as much as I love this remixed and remastered version of the album... The inner death metal geek in me has to go for the original album mix here. And also, I know this art has been used before, but like, it's so fucking sick. And it's so fitting for this record. Absolutely awesome, awesome stuff. Again, you pretty much have the exact same track list, I'm pretty sure. Let me just make sure of that real fast. Yeah. But this is a lot, you know... It has a very, very different drum sound to it. And just an all-around 
more demo based like boombox type vibe to it which is fucking awesome and it works wonderfully with cyanide's just powerful style of death fucking metal as metal never bends and cyanide just continue to absolutely putting out hammer after hammer after hammer from the early 90s to now even with like unhumanized being like i like one of the best death metal releases of 2019 it was so fucking good and it came out of left field and it just shit like that puts a smile on my face i fucking love it like when an album just comes out of nowhere and just punches you in the fucking face and it's just like yo listen to this and i know it's a mini lp but like i can't wait for a new cyanide record after hearing unhumanized and hearing what the boys are you know brewing up in chicago but the studio outtakes and demo tracks it's on my turntable right now i can't stop listening to this I, I fucking love, love, love fucking how good Ordered to Kill is. It's a studio outtake, and it's a cover from the band At War. Dude, I'm going to play it at the beginning and out of this video so you can just hear how sick the drumming sounds. And just how gnarly Cyanide really can fucking be. And then you have Choose Your Death, Studio Outtake, the 1998 demo promo, which is fucking awesome. And that continues on with uh, Death Machine. And then you have the unreleased demo from June 1999. So fucking cool ass Shit, and again, more awesome artwork. But here's what I really wanted to get to. Sorry. As with most reissues, you get, you know, your standard lyric sheet. Which I think is great because it's on a completely separate LP. And that is the original album's mix, so you can just sit back and, you know, read the lyrics to your own pleasure and enjoy tracks like Divide and Conquer, Throne of Blood, Death Machine, Armed to the Teeth, Apocalyptic Fears, Filled with Hate, 1,000 Ways to Die, Battle Scarred, Bastardized, and Remain in Hell. Fucking so good. And the more I listen to Divide and Conquer, the more interesting the remix version of the album is as this nice little write-up from Mike tells you and it's fucking so sick. Crank this fucker loud. But divert... Divisive, divisive Conquest, Sergeant Stutter. But nah, seriously, I just want to read this one part of this. Some years later, after digging through and revisiting all our pre-recorded shit, we realized that upon re-listen that the original Divide and Conquer mix, while still not up to album quality standards, did have an undeniable boombox cassette demo tape charm that the final mix somewhat and rightfully so lacked. Like, you see that fucking smile? Like, that's awesome. So, for this reissue, we felt a proper remaster was necessary for the final mix in hopes to bring out the boomy warmth of the analog recording that it really is. Mission accomplished. Since the original mix was finding a bit of favor with us of late, 
why not give that the same treatment here as well? Regarding the two extra studio tracks, this is very interesting by the way. We had fully planned on recording Ordered to Kill from At War, which was a tougher song to figure out and cover than you might think. We ended up using it for the Chicago Metal Hell four-way split on Nuclear War Now. Choose Your Death was from our very first demo and never received a proper studio recording. Was the, you guys have some tape left, anything else you want to play? Real filler song. Real meaning, you know, real to real, not real. Like when keeping it real goes wrong. But, uh, where am I? I'm sorry. Yeah, so this version makes its debut here. Hopefully this gives a decent explanation to the whole lot of divide and conquer presented on this deluxe edition brought to you at the Demons at Hell's Headbangers Records. Yeah. HHB knocked it out of the park with this reissue here. Divide and Conquer hasn't sounded better, and it hasn't sounded sicker in probably 20 fucking years. So I think it's absolutely amazing that this record was kind of, you know, brought back from the dead pretty much, and here it is on a triple LP box set that's just filled to the fucking brim. You get the full length album with the new mix, you get the original album mix, and you get the studio outtakes and demo tracks. What more can you fucking ask for when it comes to a death metal reissue for an album that's 20 years old? It's fucking awesome. And it's complete proof in the cyanide fashion that metal never bends and I have to thank Mike from Cyanide so much for sending this over my way so we can go over this and Mike to answer your question I just love the original mix of the record it was very hard to choose as I, I really really love them both but the drum sound just completely drug me in and it just was something very very special sounding and it's yeah I mean it's awesome that you know you have you technically have two different versions of the same album to dive into and enjoy and you have to thank Hell's Headbangers and the boys in Cyanide for caring enough about their back catalog to put it out on something this fucking gnarly, like, it's awesome to see something like this and to have it in your hands physically, to me, it's a big fucking deal, like, I was lucky enough to pick up a copy of Death, Doom, and Destruction for $8.99. Again, this goes to show... Well, it was a Black Friday sale on Hell's Headbangers. That's the only reason I got it for that price. But, again, Hell's Headbangers showing Cyanide the love they fucking deserve. Same with Dark Descent Records. Those two labels really, really alongside Head Split. So those three labels obviously know Cyanide's importance to American death metal and how fucking awesome their back catalog is. Because on Death, Doom, and Destruction, it's fucking sick here. Like, check this out real quick. I know I've gone over this before, but again, we have Cyanide as a four-piece. Death, Doom, and Destruction. This opens up with fucking Rage War. Rage War is such a badass song. But, like, Deadly Spawn, it's, it's so fucking sick. And... On this awesome gold wax. But that's not, you know, everything. Because you get lyrics. You get everything you could possibly want, again, out of a reissue. 
And you also get something that, to me, I would have paid gladly, you know, whatever. Because this is one of my favorite Cyanide releases, and it's just a demo. And that is Rage War 1996. And then The Truth. 12-inch, not the 7-inch version, but... You ever heard Death Strike? Yeah, Death Strike fucking rules. And just look at how fucking sick this is. Just amazing, amazing stuff right here. Death Metal. And yeah, just so fucking good. And this was recorded in 1995. So fucking gnarly. I love this photo. It's just super fucking dope. And the truth was written by Paul Speckman, Middlebrun, and Schmidt. Fucking sick. Songs taken from the Death, Doom, and Destruction sessions. But this bad boy is on this Silver Wax, which is even fucking sicker. Like, so cool to be able to have, like, this demo on vinyl, it's just a big deal to me, and it's just fucking sick. Same with having Cyanide covering fucking Death Strike. It sounds so goddamn heavy. And again, you get alternative cover art, technically. Like, how fucking cool is that? And, yeah, Hell's Headbangers, they don't fuck around when it comes to their reissues. And this, again, goes to prove my fucking point. Super, super sick stuff. Like, one of the cultist names in American death metal, Cyanide have stuck to their guns for over 25 years now, patiently building a canon that's unrivaled in its consistency and trend-free philosophy. There's one more thing I forgot to go over, and that's the hype sticker. So you can kind of get a better understanding of Divide and Conquer. And this bad boy is limited to 400 orange and brown splattered vinyl, but it's also pressed on 100 black vinyl. So I guess if you're one of those people that need to have the more limited version, get the black vinyl version. But, absolutely deluxe expanded reissue of this Cyanide Classic. Out of print for nearly 20 years. One LP features the mix of the album as it was released in 2000. Another LP features the album, original but unused mix. And a third LP features studio outtakes and demo tracks. Here the band's transition into... Totally headbanging old school metal of death and hear it in its most ultimate expanded form. Fuck yeah. We were blasting Cyanide Hell's Rebirth and we were discussing Cyanide Divide and Conquer. Hell's Headbangers. Head Split Records, Dark Descent Records, keep the fucking flame alive, keep death metal breathing. It's fucking awesome to hear something 20 years old sound like it could have came out yesterday. It's fucking awesome. But 4,000 subscribers, I will make a special video and, you know, we'll discuss a lot of stuff. But for right now... Go listen to some cyanide and bang your fucking head into oblivion. As always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Who's?